2021, my team and I entered our project, which was a waiting list initiative that was carried out in CHO9 uh, to address our 3,000 uh, child patient waiting list. At that point, the average wait time to be seen in the service was 18 months, up to three years. Within children's vision, um, you have a very short period of time to act in a meaningful way, up until the age of eight. SwiftQ was absolutely integral to this project. SwiftQ was brought into the HSE to deal with um, COVID screening and vaccinations. And it was really important to be able to use this in our waiting list initiative because it allowed us to see large volumes of patients safely and quickly. It is a cloud-based platform which communicates via email and text messaging. Since the project, which successfully removed our waiting list, um, it has given us the capacity to maintain that uh, resolution of the waiting list and has released clinical time within my service for expanded roles. So really it's m had a really significant impact on our service and our capability of our service to give additional things to the community whilst providing our normal service. In, in the past, uh, disability services mainly worked through paper folders, which the, the men and women had limited access to, so therefore had limited understanding of what was in there. So through this project, we wanted to try and, I suppose, flip that and give the men and women access and ownership to that information. And to do that, we used a digital platform. One of the first things that we did was to co-design the platform with the men and women who we support, along with the frontline staff members who are also going to be engaging with it. It was important that iPlanet was customised and was going to be useful for both the plan owners, families and the support staff. My way of saying, saying it, I can check all my files on my iPad, plus I can log in and log out much faster and it's an easier tool to be using. We really like it. I find it really good for sharing the information and it's all a help to both of us. This project began with a pilot of 50 people and now, to date, we now have 680 people set up on iPlanet with their person-centred plans. So this project offers intensive tenancy support and sustainment to adults with mental health difficulties who may be at risk of homelessness. This is a partnership project uh, between Focus Ireland and the HSE Mental Health Services. The Intensive Tenancy Sustainment Service, ITSS, was established in North Tipperary, Nina and Turles in September 2018. The service reform funding provided mental health services in the Midwest with an opportunity to introduce tenancy support and sustainment staff employed by Focus Ireland to community mental health teams in North Tipperary. As members of the mental health multidisciplinary team, the TSS staff acted as key workers to service users with the ultimate aim of resettling the person to permanent, independent living in the community with or without supports. I find the service a great help for me if I need help with any issues I have as regards tenancy and any problems I might come across as there was always somebody there to help me. In 2019, we engaged an independent researcher to evaluate the project. The most significant finding of the evaluation was the length of stay that people had in acute mental health uh, facilities. That decreased rapidly, which was hugely important for us. I believe the most important um, element was that uh, it gave me confidence. It gave me um, belief in myself that I could live alone successfully over the years. Pulmonary rehabilitation is a key intervention in the management of COBD. It is an exercise and education program and it's been proven to improve patients' exercise tolerance, their strength and their quality of life. Traditionally, these classes were offered at the hospital setting, which involved patients having to commute to the hospital twice a week. And it has been found that this inconvenience of travelling is a major factor in patients not signing up for the program or dropping out before completion and we commenced these classes in Our Lady of Lourdes in 2019 with the aim of supporting older people over 65 years of age who are living with long-term conditions such as COPD. 
feedback from patients has been overwhelmingly positive. They really enjoy the convenience of exercising at home and they still have the social interaction of chatting to other patients on the programme. During the COVID-19 pandemic, all pulmonary rehab service were shut down nationally in response to the pandemic. But here in Drogheda, we were able to continue running our classes as we had commenced our programme pre the pandemic and there was no disruption to our service. So we're very proud of that. Since 2019, we have run over 15 programmes and have had over 80 beneficiaries. We have expanded our service to include all age groups and all respiratory conditions, including pulmonary fibrosis and asthma. In 2020, we won the HSC Excellence Award for Quality Care uh, for our transformational project from a medical model of care to the social care model. It's a collaborative approach where residents take ownership of their care and we help them with that. In nursing, we are told to leave your emotions at home and come here as clinicians. Whereas for butterfly model, you are tapping into emotional intelligence of people. So you're bringing yourself to work and that was the most challenging highlight of the project. We've removed barriers, there's no them in us. And prior to the program, we have been using uniforms, but when we adopted the social model care, we removed the uniforms. We had done a lot of work on auditing, measuring the lived experience of the residents, how they feel, what they feel throughout the day. The targets were bringing them out of the wheelchairs into normal couches where it was possible. People who were looking for exit seeking, they wanted to go home. They had stopped doing that because the environment now was homely. The psychotropic medication, even from the GP down to the team, had reduced. We make their life different. You can see different talking points as you walk around the building and that is related to them. That's their life story and life story matters most to them.